Uh, Tatsmewi, good morning, everybody. My name is Danielle Scott. I am the University of Idaho Extension Educator for the Nez Perce Tribe Reservation, which is located in North Central Idaho in Leyton, Nez Perce, Clearwater, Lewis, and Idaho counties. The reservation is located in a food desert, which makes it challenging for residents to access good quality, healthy food on a regular basis. Many of the traditional foods of the Nimipu are in jeopardy due to climate change, water quality, and many other factors. However, the Nimipu are a very resilient people and many efforts are in process to help the people survive and thrive. We are answering the call during this time of a pandemic by assessing the needs and finding resources to continue feeding our communities, even in challenging times. We are teaching our community members to take control over their food sources by growing, harvesting, and preserving their own food. By teaching multi-generations the techniques of growing food from seed, building healthy soils and nurturing our relationship with Mother Earth. We are empowering the people to become self-sufficient and helping the tribe become a food sovereign nation. An important part of this work includes looking to the elders for advice and wisdom and teaching our youth the values to sustain the work and build their skills to take the lead. We are currently looking to the past to help guide these efforts into the future. Many tribes across Turtle Island are, become, are making similar efforts for their people. The Gather documentary that came out last year is an excellent example of these efforts. The documentary was summarized as an intimate portrait of a growing movement amongst indigenous Americans to reclaim their spiritual and cultural identities through obtaining sovereignty over their ancestral food systems while battling against the historical trauma brought on by centuries of genocide. I thought that was just a fabulous summarization of that movie. We have shown this documentary to our communities in an effort to promote further discussion about tribal efforts and what we can do as individuals to help that effort. I encourage everyone to watch this documentary if you get the chance. During this time of pandemic, we have also made efforts to look to our indigenous foods for medicine to boost our immune systems. Things like elderberries, sage, cedar, salmon, corn, and strawberries are all part of the indigenous and traditional diet that sustained the people in the past. So it makes sense that we turn to them in this time of a pandemic. We started off the year with understanding the need to diversify our food sources and better provide access to the people by meeting them where they were at. So we provided raised bed gardens that were dispersed throughout the Lapway community. We provided everything to get growing and the host sites maintain the garden. Programs like the childcare facility have used the garden to teach STEM lessons and the city library has used their garden to encourage reading and learning. Some changes we made to meet the year of COVID-19 were based around the thought that we need to get back to our indigenous diet. We encouraged foraging and gathering foods while maintaining social distancing. We encouraged education and outreach on how to forage safely and how to preserve the foraged gifts. With the shortage of canning supplies, we really encouraged dehydrating as another form of food preservation. We also purchased a freeze dryer as another option for food preservation. Excitingly, this gained the interest of other tribal programs to purchase freeze dryers for better access to more people. We talked about not taking more than what you need in order to leave enough for the plant to grow and to continue to produce. Food treasures like morel mushrooms and cauliflower mushrooms are always a favorite. We also encouraged foraging, gathering, and preserving other healthy medicinal resources like rose hip, Labrador tea, biscuit root, elderberries, nettle, spruce tips, and cedar that are high in vitamin C and minerals to help battle respiratory issues common to COVID, the flu, and the common cold. We encourage planting and growing things like gooseberries, a traditional food to the Nimipu. We grow these berries in our community garden and we share them with the community, including our youngsters, so they can experience the delight in this indigenous superfood. We did a class this summer which brought our little littles, our three, four and five year olds to the garden. They were fabulous at picking and asking questions and just loved learning. We also had two beautiful three sister gardens in the community garden with two different kinds of corn, a sweet corn and a flower corn, a mixture of beans and squash and they survived magnificently. We added a small free food pantry to the garden. We call it hip to token or food for the people. We ask people to take what they need and give what they can. We have several donors and grants that we received in a short period of time for the pantry. It has become a popular spot with our youth who stop 
by in small groups to share food under the little gazebo at the picnic table, food they may not have otherwise had access to. Pleasantly surprising in this time of people hoarding things like toilet paper, our little pantry has been has seen the supply of toilet paper not get ravaged, but people adding to it. The Nespers tribe has also had two very robust food boxes to distribute to members, including cleaning supplies and toiletries, toilet paper and face masks. Our commodity foods has also offered additional food boxes with healthy local foods from the Northwest. To continue the learning and outreach, we have decided to continue with our efforts to have our food summit. This year, it will be a virtual summit just like this one, and it'll go on next week. If you have any questions and would like to get registered for that, you can let me know. I will put my email into the chat box. Makas Katsuyayo, thank you everybody. Great. Um, would you mind putting the registration link for that in there as well? Uh, what we have everybody doing is just emailing me and then I will email out the registration and uh, send out the Zoom link. Great, thank you. Thank you so much, Danielle. I'm really excited about the Nez Perce Hit Food 